cookies, pineapple, full of love. We made everybody's favorite, millionaire pie. If you've not made a millionaire pie, give it a try because you're gonna like it. Okay, you're gonna take your cherries and drain them because you're gonna be using about a third of a cup. So let them sit here and drain for about 15 minutes or so. And then you're gonna take them and chop them up for the pie. So you need to do this beforehand. You're also gonna toast your coconut before you start putting your pie together. Now I'm putting my coconut in my air fryer. You can lay it out on a cookie sheet, put it in the oven at 350 degrees, toss it, bake it until it's light golden brown at 350 degrees. Okay, this time we're gonna be using eight ounces of crushed pineapple. I'm gonna open it and we're gonna drain it really well. So I've got out my mesh strainer And we're just gonna take a spoon and get all the juice out of it. Make sure you do a good job because you want your pie to set up and you don't want a lot of extra liquid in your pie. Now we're gonna start chopping up our cherries. You're gonna need about a third cup of cherries chopped. All right, we're toasting some coconut, and you can see it always starts to brown around the edges. So you need to move it around a little bit, or shake it, and watch it really close. Okay, now I'm gonna start chopping up these cherries. And it's gonna take a little time to do this, so you can prep the day before if you want to, or prep the morning of. So just chop up all your cherries and eat to a few in the meantime because they're so good. You're gonna need about a third cup once they're chopped. Can't be too careful with your coconut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it every minute. Now, if it were in a regular oven, you could watch it every three or four minutes. But in an air fryer, you better check on it often. All right, now you can use the whole can of Eagle Brand milk and the whole slab of cream cheese and make two pies. But my recipe is just for one pie because me and Chris don't need two pies. First wonderful ingredient, Eagle Brand condensed sweetened milk. We're gonna use a half of a can Let's put just a little tiny bit extra. And we're going to use a half block of cream cheese. Now this is supposed to be at room temperature. So we're making a one pie recipe. We are going to mix this up until it's nice and creamy with our mixer, our hand mixer. Now all we're gonna do is fold stuff in. So we'll go ahead and put this over here in the sink. We're gonna add all the good stuff now. We're gonna add a half container of an eight ounce Cool Whip. I'm gonna save the other half for decorating the top of the pie. We're going to add an eight ounce can of pineapple drain. Make sure you drain it good you don't want a runny pie. Really press it in there good. Then we've got a third cup of cherries. And these have been sitting here for a while draining, but I think right quick before I add them in here, because I don't want my pie to get too, you know, to be too wet. 
I'm just going to smash them a little bit. Now you can leave the cherries out. Some people don't like cherries, but boy, do me and Chris love cherries. So we actually got a little bit over a heaping third cup of cherries. A third cup of chopped pecans, and ours are toasted. And then we're gonna squeeze half of a large lemon in here. And mix it up. Boy, don't that look good. We're gonna put coconut, but we're gonna save it for the top because we toasted it. So it's gonna be nice and delicious and you don't want it to get in here and get all soggy since it's toasted. And trust me, you're gonna taste it because it's toasted. Wonderful pie, it smells so good. Don't leave out the lemon juice. It's kind of like a lemon ice box on steroids, right? So it's got a lot of good stuff in it. We're gonna put this in our pie crust. And I just bought, I just bought me one. Everybody's mama had a pie crust in the in the uh, pantry. Or mine sure kept them. She kept one in the freezer, and she always had a graham cracker one in the pantry, and so do I. I'm the same way. That side is, seems like it's just a little bit thicker, so I'm going to put it over here. And, okay, we're going to put this in here and spread it out a little bit. It's pretty when you can see the cherries. Hey, I think I should lick the spoon and taste it. I'm done with it. Yummy. It's so good, y'all. All right. Now, you don't have to pipe your Cool Whip. You can just spread it across the top if you want to. But I make mine pretty because I think it's fun. So... I'm going to put this Cool Whip in a bag with a nice large tip on it. And if you want a bag like this and a tip like this, just go to our website and click on Baking Needs, I believe is where I have them. It's not hard to learn how to pipe just a circle for the top of a pie or cake. And we're going to go around the edge and make it pretty. And then I like to put one in the middle for our cherries. And I've got a cherry over here drained. We'll put it right there in the middle. And now we're gonna take this toasted coconut. Nothing like toasted coconut. That's why I don't like to put it inside the pie because it's nice and toasty and crunchy. A wonderful flavor. Talk about a delicious millionaire pie. This is it. This is the perfect time of year to make one too, y'all. That's so pretty, ain't it? All right, we're gonna cut it in a minute and share a piece with y'all. All right, y'all, it's been in the refrigerator. So we're gonna get us out a slice. And it's not been in there for a, a long time, but we think it's been in there long enough that we can get it out and get a bite. Oh yeah. Ooh, 
Yummy. I love to It's time to eat it. Got all the pecans, the cream cheese, cherries, pineapple, full of love. Mmm. So good. That is such a delicious pie. And it's so easy. Yummy. Yum. Yum. I'll see y'all next time on Colored Valley Cooks. Go make you a millionaire pie, y'all. Love ya. Bye.